You're watching Two Button Crew. The daily show for Nintendo fans. I'm Scott. And I'm Simeon. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, and we're going to talk about something really, really cool that's dead. Very, very dead. But still was really, really cool at the time. The Game Boy Camera, which at its time, I don't know if you know this, was the smallest digital camera yeah. of its time. Nintendo is always innovating. They're always innovating, and yeah. they made cameras. And by its time, you mean 1998. 1998, the far distant land of 1998, <laughs> 17 years ago. Yeah. That's insane. And it's actually still compatible with all Game Boy models, all the way up into the micro. And I find it humorous that you, you say that it's compatible. But think about taking pictures with the Game Boy Advance SP. You're gonna have to <laughs> like turn it upside down. So oh, it's, you can take pictures. They're just so gonna be true. upside down. That's awesome. Uh, but yes, it was compatible with um, any Game Boy iteration that you had. It's cool. And what kind of resolution did that sort of camera take? Hundreds of pixels. You got 256. <laughs> By 224. Oh my goodness. Not even square. They could have been Instagram first, but they weren't. No, not quite. Not quite Instagram before Instagram was Instagram. Yeah. So the gra the photos were really grainy, but we didn't care. And monochrome. At the Yeah, and monochrome. But at that time, I am really surprised. This is kind of a side note. I'm really surprised that they did not continue to make Game Boy cameras. Well, uh, of all the things that they, you know, say, oh, we'll make this and then we'll make a sequel to this or we'll update this. There's no Game Boy camera color. Yeah. I mean, don't you think it eventually lived on in the 3DS and the uh, DSi? I guess so. I guess that's incorporated. true. You could get a blue po uh, Pokemon camera, mm -hmm. Game Boy camera, um, green, red, and yellow. And then there was also a purple one in Japan. Yes, only. Only in Japan. And then the last one was an exclusive Zelda-themed one that you could get through a Nintendo Power like mail-in offer or something like that. This so, one I didn't know about. That's really cool. Was yeah. it like green? Have you seen pictures of it? Uh, I've seen text about it on the mm. internet. Okay, so yes. it is a mythical creature that sounds pretty rare. That's pretty cool, though. So uh, the last thing that's pretty cool about it that I know of uh, in my experience of not having one, is that it interfaced with a thermal paper printer. You can actually yes. print these things out, which is crazy. So, yeah, I never had one, and uh, you did, and you introduced I, I me did. to it. So what was your experience growing up on the Game Boy camera? <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was kind of a small thing, like, looking back, but I think that it was a huge step forward for Nintendo. Like I said, it was the yeah. smallest digital camera of its time. It's crazy. And by smallest, I mean like this big, or like including the mm -hmm. the Game Boy itself. But it was one of the first times that you were encouraged to, to take selfies. Oh, yes. Before the word selfie existed. So forward thinking. The camera could be rotated from facing you to facing out outward, which I did not realize for like the longest time. That's funny. <laughs> it took me like a year to realize that you could rotate the camera. So I was always like trying to like turn the camera around and like <laughs> guessing where it was aiming. Think about this, people. You had to refer to them as pictures of, of yourself. yourself that's like five <laughs> syllables <laughs> instead of two selfies yeah. so at least we have the word selfie and selfies you know you can have your own opinion on them on what they oh we can't are Thank but you. but yeah I, I allow you to have your own your own ideas about yes. that but at least be thankful for the word that you don't have to say pictures of yourself yeah you have a word for there that you now. Go. But yeah, it even has like an arrow that says that next to the camera lens, like that shows you which way to rotate it. That's nice. But I just thought it was a decoration, like for the longest time to yeah. the camera. Here's yeah. here's the camera. Yeah. But you silly boy. <laughs> <laughs> but there were also fun mini games. Um, yes. Like I had mentioned in a previous episode, you could do the game and watch juggle. And they they were all just built in, right? Because you couldn't play another game with it. Yes, it was it was all it was all built in mm -hmm. to to the camera itself. It didn't have 
the printer was compatible with other games, but the camera itself I see. was just by itself. So Game & Watch? Y yep, uh, Game & Watch Juggle, there were, um, you could put your face on like this space shooter where you would become the boss and you had to shoot yourself down. Uh, it's like Face Raiders. Like Face Raiders, nice. exactly. Huh. And you could edit your pictures how you wanted to. Um, you could put little stickers of Pokemon or whatnot on it. Um, hmm. It was pretty expansive. Like, it wasn't just a camera. I think if you look back on it and say, oh, Game Boy Camera was just a camera. Mm -hmm. No, you could do quite a bit of, you know, editing. There were, like, unlockables, which sounds really weird. Yeah. But there were so many menus that I got, like, kind of confused as a kid, like, mm -hmm. what all these menus were. And a lot of them did have to do with the printer, which I didn't have. Okay. But it was... I guess I can't say that surprises me after the swiveling camera. Yeah, confusion. seriously. I, I couldn't even figure out <laughs> how to turn the camera around. But it... And I think this might have been the first game where Miyamoto actually appeared in the game. Oh, wow. He appeared in a sequence that you could get to in one of the special menus where it has him doing a dance like this. <laughs> and then it like splits up into like two images of him dancing like this and like four images of him like dancing like this and then like there's this little song this and it's just this repeated over and over again and he keeps on splitting up into like 128 maybe 64 or 128 different iterations of Miyamoto so it's it, it was just kind of a humorous thing. I remember looking at that and be like, what the heck is this? Like, why is there a dancing man on the screen right now after I went through this menu? <laughs> just a wacky game, but so much fun. And Nintendo, you done good with the Game Boy camera. I heard there was some kind of like error screen that would, it would like a face that would scare you or something like yes. that. Yes, oh yeah. What is up with that? I don't remember, but yeah, they had like these creepy like, Images like if you um, went to a menu where you didn't have any pictures like that, or, or I can't remember exactly how it was, mm -hmm. but yeah, it had like a creepy like <laughs> one of the know, developers, <laughs> yeah, or something. It was just really creepy edited photo, and it's really because I read it would actually scare people. It would like pop up pretty fast. So. Oh yeah, it's. It was kind of a weird game. Even at the time, I remember thinking, like, this is, you know, really kind of bizarre. <laughs> Another thing to note um, near the end of our video where we were talking about the specs is I think you could only have 30 pictures on at a time. Mm, wow. So, me not having a printer, yeah. once I deleted a photo, it was gone forever. Well, if you ever find your Game Boy camera, it'd be fun to upload some of the pictures of child Simeon or something. Oh man, I I wish. If if I can find a way to get it back, then I will. But alas, it might be gone forever. But it lives on in the 3DS. So it take lives some, on in our hearts. Take some selfies this week and uh, and be thankful for the word selfie. Yes, think of the think of the Game Boy Pocket and hashtag. What I, I meant Camera, Game Boy yeah. camera. Yeah. I had a Game Boy Pocket, which so I played confused. Game Boy camera on. Yes. Hashtag Game Boy camera. Yes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the crew. Don't forget to like, to comment, to subscribe, and most of all, to share if you liked what you saw or learn something about the Game Boy camera from Nintendo. See you next time. Signing out.